Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox Tube and today I'm doing an update to my custom solar system so this is something I've been waiting to show for quite a while so behind the scenes I have actually been getting some new modded objects um, from some dumb gamer so a massive massive uh, thanks and shout out to him because yeah he made all of these objects um, and they did some of them did take quite a lot of time I believe so yeah just a massive massive thanks to him for making um these objects because it's absolutely amazing but yeah updated custom solar system so as you know like this is the one where I had like my custom Sedna with a red trail my custom planet 9 with that awesome um, spawn I got and all that good stuff but we've also got a bunch of new objects in here today so we will um, obviously um, go into orbit mode so we can uh, see everything so we've got Mercury, obviously, Venus, Earth they haven't been touched oh but we do remember the Venus is new this or it wasn't it's not new as of this video but yeah this Venus is a custom Venus if we compare it to the regular Venus quickly that's the regular Venus and then this is the custom one so the regular one is too much it's too green I think so we've got like more of an orange one here yeah, that, that's not new. This We've had this one for quite a while. So if we go out next, Earth is the same. We haven't touched that in any way. Here's just the regular old Earth. Not left touched that. But here we go. This is new. So as you can see, we now have a dust storm Mars. So, so instead of having the regular Mars, we have got this bad boy instead. Now just look at that. So it's sort of going with like the Venus sort of atmosphere. Because obviously if you didn't know, Mars isn't always like this. Mars sometimes does have dust storms which make the surface completely invisible and the only things you can see are the volcanoes popping out above the cloud layer. Obviously we can't really do that in this game but this is probably the closest we can get to a dust storm version of Mars so yeah what do you guys think of that? It looks like I need to quickly put the radius up a little higher. There we go. Right, <laughs> I sort of messed up the mass there, I'll have to fix that afterwards. Um, but yeah look at that. Dust storm Mars it's completely like you can't see below it at all which is the way it actually is like the, i think the only things you might be able to work out is where the volcanoes are so if we look around the back here see if i can spot the volcanoes i don't know if i can it's kind of it kind of sucks that we can't but um but we can't see them but yeah they are there remember so if we just turn this off the, the volcanoes are where are they at there they are there's olympus mons there so if we turn the atmosphere on you can sort and you can see it actually. No, you can see you can clearly see the outline of the volcano right there. So if you look carefully, you can also see the other ones are sort of here as well. So yeah, I guess this is pretty well done, honestly. Um, because you can still sort of see the volcanoes through the clouds, which is obviously what it is like in real life as well. You can see the cloud or the um, volcanoes through the cloud layer, even when there's a dust storm on Mars. So yeah, very very nice indeed. So yeah, we've got now got a dust storm Mars for my custom solar system. So yeah, check that out. Look at that. It looks amazing. So, yeah, there is Dust Storm Mars. So, let's go out to the next one. So, next up, we actually have a custom Jupiter. So, if we go all the way out here, we have got this guy. So, if you guys saw the Lime Green Solar System video, you would know that we can now get objects that have loads and loads of different bands on them. So, for example, if I uh, come down here, here is a special modded green gas giant. So, if we uh, go ahead and look at this quickly. So, here it is here. So if we look at this, you can see it's got loads and loads of extra lines that we've added in. Same with like uh, this version here as well. Like, look at all the extra lines compared to the original version, which is just that. So we or, or this one, which is it that one? Yeah, but yeah, these are what the planets normally look like. But we have managed to get all these extra bands on to create things like this. So we thought we'd do it with Jupiter because um, obviously Jupiter is probably one of the worst looking of the regular objects in the game, just because it's texture isn't so great so what we've done is we turn around here we have got this so as you can see there's a lot more clouds there compared to the original Jupiter so we just place one of those in quickly by actually oh god I've got to lock onto this guy first so yeah this guy is looking pretty darn sweet if you ask me so here it is here I think I still need to change the uh, radius a bit since it's a little off uh, but yeah, I'll fix that in my own time so as we can see there's a lot more lines on this planet a lot more cloud lines compared to the original Jupiter now the colors are slightly off but um we could probably fix that down the road at some point but yeah this is just like an early sort of template almost and we could always get it changed at some point um but yeah for now this is the new Jupiter so it's got the red spot as well which is obviously amazing so we've got still got the red spot but it's got more clouds on it so what do you guys think of that let us know down in the comments should we uh keep this one should we change the color of it a bit or should we just keep the original Jupiter let us know down below but yeah this has a lot more clouds on it 
than that one there. So yeah, I do need to still fix this guy. So I think it's still slightly um, tilted a bit and the size is wrong. But yeah, I'll fix that at another time. So yeah, we've got this new Jupiter now. So yeah, let us know what you think of that down below in the comments. And remember, all credit goes to Sundown Gamer. I did not make these custom modded objects. So yeah, special thanks to him for making them again because yeah, he made them. So just look at that. Look at it, it just looks amazing, because remember, this is this was made off the original Jupiter, so we can still add moons to planet and stuff, even though this Jupiter is a different texture, so look at that, it looks absolutely amazing. So there's Jupiter, we don't have any new Saturn, because we honestly don't think Saturn needs one. And then we've got obviously the old custom Uranus, so yeah, this is, um, you guys have seen this one before, but yeah, the custom Uranus with a very, very light blue, it looks absolutely amazing compared to the regular Uranus, which is honestly, it just doesn't look correct at all it looks too much like neptune so yeah there's that um trash uranus gone so yeah there's the modded uranus neptune is still the same because neptune is perfect so we don't need to touch that now next up we've got pluto so we have got this now if you guys have space engine you would know that pluto has a atmosphere around it but in universe sandbox there isn't really an atmosphere so what we've done is we have got Pluto with a white atmosphere like the one in Space Engine. So if you've seen the Space Engine Pluto before, you'd know it has a white glow around it, a white atmosphere. But in Universal Sandbox, when you add an atmosphere to Pluto, you barely see it. So we have got Pluto with a white atmosphere. So check that out. So when you add water to it now, it has white clouds. It looks so much better colonized. So I probably will make a colonized solar system video again, a remake of it at some point. But... Look at that. Colonized Pluto can actually be properly looking good now. But just look at the clouds on it. Obviously, it looks like this below. You guys will know that. But with the atmosphere, just look at that. So, yeah, if you didn't know, Pluto does have a very thin atmosphere. But, yeah, look at the modded Pluto with that white atmosphere. So, yeah, we thought we'd uh, sort of copy the space engine Pluto with the white atmosphere. And it gives us this. So, just look at that. Honestly, modding the game files can just make so much difference in the way things look. Like, look at that. It looks absolutely amazing. So, let's go realistic again. And there we go. So, there's Pluto. Now, next up, we've got Iris. So, we now have a custom Iris. So, as you can see, it is very, very reflective, which is the way the real Iris is. So, we can't change the color of it. I actually don't know why that is. We can't change the color. It's not a gas giant. It is a rocky planet. We can't change the color of it. But if we go on flashlight, you can see it is very, very bright. So if we go on a I think it's studio mode, you can see it reflects a lot of light here. So look at that. It looks absolutely amazing as well. I'm not sure if this is the right template. I think I may have used the wrong one here. But honestly, it's not a problem because I can always re-edit afterwards. So... Um, if I just look in here, see if I can find what I was a mena base off, because I think I made a mistake here somewhere. Um, or did I? I don't know, actually. Uranus. Is it that one there? No, no it wasn't that one. Oh, whoops a daisy. I didn't want to do that. Oh, well, let me just reopen the simulation. That's fine. So, um, where is it? A solar system. So solar system. Where, where is it? Um, damn it. Where is it? There we go. I've got the picture on it changed. So, yeah, let's go back to Eris now. So... We go, uh, Iris. Let's go over to you. Yeah, so this is the new Iris. So it reflects a lot of light. So if you didn't know, Iris, I think, is one of the most reflective objects in the solar system. It reflects a lot of light, Iris. So, yeah. So Ceres doesn't really reflect any at all, but this guy reflects a lot of light. So yeah, we've got that guy now, and it is looking pretty good. I think it was this object I was going to base it off. Yeah, Lumpur CS1. I think this was one of Sundown Games as well. Yeah, so you can see. It's, it reflects a lot of light, as you can see when I move the planet into the light area, it just reflects a lot. So I think that's what the Iris is based off. Yeah, no, I think this is right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is right since... Yeah, okay, it is right, okay. Whoops, I um, thought I made an error, but no, I didn't. So yeah, this is the new Iris. So yeah, looking pretty nice. So if we uh, zoom out again, let us know what you think in the comments of that as well. So yeah, this Iris just reflects a lot of light, so that's why it's really, really bright. So there we go. Okay, now next up, and lastly, we have a new Planet 9. So if we zoom all the way out, there it is there. So, there it is. So if you zoom in here, like Jupiter and those green lime green gas giants, we have added more bands to it. We've added more, more trails, more lines, whatever you want to call them. And we have got this. So let us know what you think of this in the comments. Obviously, if you guys don't like it, we can change it back to the um, original Planet 9. That one is still really, really cool. But yeah, now we have a modded version of the original. So yeah, it's also got a new trail color as well. We've got more of a 
dark blue sort of trail. So Planet Nine's got its own uh, unique trail color now. So yeah, let us know. What do you think of this? Look at the blue mixed in with all those new lion colors. What do you think of that? Let us know down below in the comments because I think it looks really, really cool. But yeah, if you guys um don't like it, let me know and we can try and get stuff changed. So this is the new solar system now. So we've got the new Jupiter there. We could we can still change the colors on that if you guys don't like it. Please let us know what you think about that. So we've got that Jupiter there. We've got the new Planet Nine. We've also got our Venus. We've got the dust storm Mars looking really cool. We've got the really, really um or really new, really nice looking Pluto now with the white atmosphere. Then we've got the the super bright Iris since it reflects a lot of light. Then if we go down, yeah, there's just all of my other custom um, or other objects as well. Because I know this Orcus here, that's slightly a custom colour with that brown there. And then we've got obviously my old custom Sedna, the very dark red with the red trail. So yeah, I've got all those guys. So yeah, that is the whole solar system now. So let us know what do you think of all these new modded objects? Please let us know because really, I'm really interested to hear your thoughts and opinions on this because yeah, I've been looking forward to releasing this video for quite a while. So yeah. This will probably be the last video of the pre-recorded videos as well, so yeah, this video will probably come out just before I get back from holiday or something, but yeah, this here it is. So please let us know what you think of all these new modular objects, and like I said, all credit goes to some dumb gamer he made these, so a massive thanks to him again for making these. But yeah, there we go guys, so please let us know your thoughts down below in the comments, but yeah, that's everything. So make sure you subscribe if you're new, helps on the journey to 4,000 subscribers, if we're not there already, I don't know, because this video has been made long in the past, by now, two weeks before it comes out probably, so I don't know if we're at 4K yet, so if we are, huge thanks indeed, but if we're not, we must be getting close, so just... Yeah, help us. We must be quite close by now. But yeah, also make sure you leave a like. Let's see if we can go for 40 likes on this video. But yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure you guys all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.